I started in 2015 and I started on my old laptop webcam. The quality is not the best. My hair looks kind of crazy. I just set it up and started talking to my computer. That one decision to move on that faith and to start that channel, that one video is what brought me here today. Hey my lovely YouTubers, welcome back to my YouTube channel with me, your girl, Morgan Tracy J. Coming today with a new video, and today's video is all about how to start your YouTube channel in 2024, boo. So if you have been feeling called to YouTube, and you've been having this idea year after year that you wanted to start YouTube, then you've made it to the right place. Because I have been doing YouTube since 2015, okay? And that even sounds crazy for me to think it's been that long that I've been on YouTube. But I wanna tell you, there are some things I've learned about YouTube that you don't have to go years and years to have to learn. You can learn it right here in this video to really help you out. So if you're new here, I wanna encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube family. I talk on faith, fashion, and fearlessness, and I know I got some content that will bless you, girl, okay? So anyways, let's get into this video. Okay, before we get started, I gotta tell you, it is not too late to start a YouTube channel. Just like it's not too late to start a TikTok or start on Instagram, it is not too late. But even in 2015, I thought I was too late. Because there were all these natural hair care gurus and this all these social media influencers and, and I even felt like I am too late. But I want to tell you, girl, I was not too late and you are not too late either. So if you've been telling yourself, oh, it's too late for me to start my YouTube channel. Oh, I'm too old. Oh, I, I, don't, I don't have the right time. Oh, you know what? I don't have the clear ideas. Oh, I don't have the camera yet. If that's what you've been telling yourself, then today I am coming for you. I'm coming for you because I want to give you five ways on how you can start your YouTube channel in 2024. The first thing, girl, you've gotta just get the name of the channel, okay? And I've gotta give this so simple and basic tip because I get messages all the time like, Morgan, I don't know what to name my channel, I don't know what to name my channel. And you have to ask yourself, if you were ever seen in public, what would you want people to say to you? Because sometimes people have these channels with these really unique names and people connect that name to them. So when they see them in public, they're like, hey, Lavender, hey, you, whatever, go after God, Channel, whatever so I want to encourage you to think about that question when I'm in public and someone just happens to notice me for my YouTube channel what do I want them to call me I knew early on that I wanted to be called Morgan Tracy J like I just knew that's what I wanted to be called and Morgan James was taken because that's my actual name so I just threw my middle name in there with the J and that came up that was a really creative idea and so that kind of worked for me so I want to tell you this don't overthink step no, tip number one because sometimes a lot of ladies find themselves right there don't know what the name is and they never move on their idea if you're standing there stuck on the name you're not going to get to tip three four five and six and do the multiple other steps because you're so focused on the name so i wanted the first thing is just pick a name for your channel and the name is anything that you actually want to be called in public Okay, so if you don't want to be called go after Jesus 1004, then maybe that's not the name you want to put on your channel. The next thing is, girl, you got to get a list of ideas. Okay, and if you're like, I don't know where to start with my ideas, this is something I always encourage ladies to do. Go write down your top five people on YouTube or influencers that you follow, and then figure out why do you follow them? What is it about them? What is it about their content that you follow, and why do you go back to them? See, there are certain people I follow strictly because I love their vlogs and I love their personality. But then there are other people I follow strictly because they know so much about a certain niche that I'm interested in. They so they know so much about editing or they know so much about YouTube or they know so much about fashion, right? So you gotta go grab your list of people and then write down what is it about their content that makes you come back over and over. And also the next thing you wanna do is you wanna take that same list and you wanna say what kind of content do they create that I could see myself creating? Like if she's always talking about fashion, I watch her, what, what version of that could I create? How do I see myself creating very similar? And what I've learned is many of the people I'm drawn to naturally are the people who do the content that I actually wanna do, okay? So that right there is a good tip. If you're struggling with ideas, go find your five top influencers, YouTubers, Instagrammers, TikTokers, whatever, and figure out why you're drawn to them and then what kind of content that they do that you can put your own spin on it. 
The next thing you want to do is you want to niche down, okay? And this is if you're just getting started, all right? If you don't know what niche means, niche is just a segmented group. So if you follow somebody and all they ever do is post quotes, their niche is quotes. They're only going to post quotes or self-help quotes or something. But then if you go to somebody else's page and they have all kinds of different stuff on it, then they're most likely not niching down. What they're doing is they're being the niche, okay? And so I wanna tell you, if you're trying to grow and you're trying to go grow and get really moving early on, you may wanna niche down to a certain topic to where you can grow and become an expert in that field, okay? So in the beginning, what I did is I niched down into Christian content. From my morning routines, to my messages, to a lot of the stuff I was doing, it had a Christian spin on it because because that was just me. So that's how I niche down. I went under the Christian sphere because that was just what I felt led to do. But for you, let's say that's not what you want to do. So you may want to be the niche. And that's another thing. And this is something that TikTok has opened up the door for us is that sometimes you don't have to niche down. You can become the niche. So now I, you can create and talk and do things on whatever topics you want to do it. I just will tell you starting off that does make more of a challenge to grow first because they don't kind of know what expert you are in what field yet and so that right there kind of makes a challenge to grow if you're just starting but if you've already built an influence or something hey become the niche okay girl like build that personal brand all right also there's some things i want you to ask yourself if you've been feeling called to do youtube but you're just not able to get it going girl okay there's some questions i have for you first off you have to ask yourself is this an idea that won't go away and i call those ideas god ideas so you're saying is this really a god idea is this an idea that does not go away is this an idea that comes up season after season year after year my life has went forward i went to school had the baby got married whatever and it still keeps coming back. If that is you, girl, then that most likely is a God idea. So you need to say, is this idea still lingering year after year? And if that's the case, and that's probably a real big sign, that you probably should take the leap and start your YouTube channel in 2024. The next thing you could ask yourself is, if there was anything I had to be known for, what would that be? This is something that I had to ask myself early on. If there was anything in this world that I was going to be known for, what would that be? And at the time I was getting my bachelor's in biology and I was thinking I was going to go get a PhD in this and be like all into the science field and everything. And when I really asked myself that question, I realized I didn't want to be known to be a great researcher and a great speaker for that. I didn't want to be known for science, technology, engineering, or mathematics. I wanted to be known for God. And so see that kind of changed the way I looked at creating content on my channel. So I want to ask you this. You want to ask yourself this question. If there was anything in this world that I was to be known for, what would that be? And then go from there. The next question you want to ask yourself, is there any topic that I could speak on for the next 10 years and not get tired of? This right here is really true. Is there anything you can just talk about, speak on that you will not get tired of, that you actually love speaking on? There's a specific person named Tony Gaskins. He speaks on relationships and he's been speaking on this for years, okay? And he still has more content flowing all the time because he's not tired of it. He, he just keeps flowing. It's from, it's within him. And that's the same way I feel about my faith content. I can be talking on anything in a scripture will flow out and a message will flow out in some way or another. And so I want to tell you, you want to ask yourself, what is a topic that I would never get tired of speaking on? The last tip I want to give you is you have to have a goal for your channel. Okay, and this is how some of the best channels grow and evolve because they have a goal for their channel. So when you know the goal of your channel, it helps you when you're creating your content, when you're creating all of your stuff and coming up with ideas, you know the purpose of your channel. Now for some channels, the goal is literally a girl doing makeup and she's just like, I wanna show women how to do their own makeup. Another goal of the channel is I wanna show women how to walk stronger in Jesus, right? I wanna show women how to pray your journal. I wanna show people how to um, feel beautiful, whatever. So you wanna start thinking, what is the goal of your channel? And even if you're doing vlogs, maybe your vlog is that you want to inspire people to create their own content or you want to just showcase your life and in the in that way inspire others to do the same whatever it may be i want to encourage you to know the goal of your channel because when you know the goal of your channel that right there is what's going to set you apart with your content it's when you just jump up and do anything 
and everything. And I learned that in about 2015, 2016, I was really struggling on YouTube. And it was because I did not have a goal for my channel. I went from natural hair care to fade talks, to back to this, to, to other stuff, to little vlogs, to talking to kids on my campus. Like I was just all around in different places and I did not know the goal and purpose of my channel. So if you know the goal and purpose of your channel, that's gonna set you apart. And this is a last tip, and it's not really a tip, it's just a bonus little thing. Like I wanna say, if you have no gear, no problem, okay? And I wanna show you a snippet of when I started my YouTube channel. I started in 2015 and I started on my old laptop webcam, okay? And I wanna tell you, the quality is not the best. I look, my hair looks kinda of crazy. I just set it up and started talking to my computer. And I wanna share that with you though. That one decision to move on that faith and to start that channel, that one video is what brought me here today. So I want to encourage you, if you are somebody who says, I can't get started because I don't have the gear, I don't have the lights, I don't have the money, I don't have the time, I don't have anything. I was actually a student in college. I was a biology major. I was very busy and I was walking this faith walk. I was the president of a Christian organization when I started my channel. And it was all because I just moved on the idea. And I said, no gear, no problem. I said, oh, no lights, no problem. Oh, no camera, no problem. I'm gonna do what I'm called to do and I'm gonna just do it. So I wanna encourage you, don't feel like you gotta go out and buy the camera just yet or go and build the team or get the strategy plan. You've got these five tips to help you get started with your YouTube channel in 2024. And I cannot wait to see you launch that channel, girl. And if you're somebody who already has a YouTube channel, I would encourage you to take tip number two by getting a list of ideas to really help you revamp that. And also I would encourage you to take tip number four to where you already know the purpose of your channel. And I would tell you to take tip number five so you will know the purpose and goal of your channel. All right, so thank you so much for watching. I want you to comment down below your favorite tip overall that really just spoke to you to help one of your sisters in the comments, okay? And I will tell you, if you are somebody who has been feeling so called and led to YouTube, right now, my mentorship, we are having a free 14-day trial going on. And so if you wanna learn how to edit, you wanna learn some YouTube strategy, you wanna learn all of that and get real help and community, then go ahead and check us out for free for 14 days. I'll see you guys in my next video.